this afternoon for our press conference for our two uh, teams that will participate in the national championship game here on Friday night. It'll be a 7 p.m. Eastern start time between the number two seed Southwestern Oklahoma State and the number five seed Lubbock Christian. Uh, here on the uh, platform today, we have our head coach from Southwestern Oklahoma, Kelsey Music, and also Steve Gomez from Lubbock Christian. Our players participating today are Haley Tucker and Hayden Pretty from Southwestern Oklahoma, and for Lubbock Christian, Bobby Chitsey and Olivia Robertson. Uh, I will get opening comments from each head coach first, uh, and then as we've done throughout, Scott has a wireless, please go ahead and raise your hand, and he'll bring you the wireless, and then you can open up to questions for everybody. Uh, <laughs> coach Music, we'll go ahead and begin with you. And we're just excited and blessed for the opportunity to still be playing and get to lace up uh, for 40 more minutes um, tomorrow night. Um, obviously, uh, we're playing an extremely good team and a very, very well-coached team. Um, I think I'm the rookie up here, and he's the veteran. So, um, we're, uh, again, we're just excited to, to have the opportunity to be in the position that we are. Coach Gomez. The old man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have more experience. <laughs> no, what a, uh, yeah. What a fun opportunity to get to, just to get to play again with seniors. I know the seniors that she has, you know, just a special bond with, with a group that goes all the way through your school, and to have a chance to play the last game of their career in this setting is, you know, you just can't ask for that. So many great teams that aren't getting this chance, and so you just have to be thankful, uh, and just hope you seize the moment. At the same time, you, you realize it's a, it's a big moment, but it's not so big, and we have one of our players, uh, Allie Schulte, one of our sophomores, who. Uh, her uncle, the night after we won the first round game, uh, he passed away in the night uh, back home in Nazareth. And so it sort of puts things in a little bit of a, a perspective moment for you and say, hey, this is great. Let's enjoy the game. At the same time, it's not life or death, but it is a, it's a great chance. And uh, appreciate what's going on here. It's just been a fun time. All right, questions, please. Question for the coaches, do you feel like this is a must-win game? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting matchup, just running through the history of the four-year players. Started off uh, Southwestern Oklahoma State winning like by 40. They, they didn't love it uh, the following year. LC wins by like 40. Yeah. And then this year, it's a game where LC loses an eight-point lead in the fourth quarter, ends up being a two-point game. So you've had the full gamut. You've, you all have faced each other over the four years. Uh, question for the student athletes is, how is the respect factor when? Because when you look across uh, to each other, these are these are players that that when you face each other, it's it's you again. It's you again. You're still there. Uh, but at the same time, I'm sure there's been a growth of respect between the two programs. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, we've talked about Love at Christian, or I have. I mean, they're a tremendous team. You know, very well coached. They have amazing players who, you know, just know the game of basketball and are just very sound players. And, you know, like I said, they, they just know what they're doing out there. And so we respect them. We have the most utmost respect for them. And uh, like I said, very well coached. And you know, like I, like you said, um, we're like, gosh dang, you're still there, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just like I said, just the utmost respect for this team. I mean, I can say that we feel the same way. It the feeling is 100% mutual for Swasu. They have been um, just a battle and a struggle and a tough team every single year, and they bring it. I mean, they they bring the fire and they bring the game, and you can't make it this far without being great. So. Just like Haley said, absolute respect, and I mean this. This will be a war, so it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be a good one. Absolutely. Uh, coaches, I think you said her uncle died. Uh, is that right, yes. Alice? Yeah. Did she ever? I mean, was there any discussion of her maybe going back home and not playing the rest of the tournament? You know, uh, her dad, her mom and dad are here, and her dad has even stayed. I'm finding out now, I'm not sure if he's going back today or not, depending on what the funeral is. If it's going to be Monday, he'll stay. If it's Saturday, he'll go. Uh, but for her, no, uh, it wasn't. I, I, you know, I didn't even say, Allie, do you want to go home? Uh, she's committed to being here. and uh, So that there wasn't even brought up of flying her home right now. Uh, 
Coach, you were asked about possibly playing jury after you won the opening game yesterday. <laughs> Nobody even asked you about uh, <laughs> uh So, I mean, do you feel like some people maybe overlooked uh, these guys, maybe compared, at least compared to jury? Absolutely. I, I know what kind of a team they are, and more more so, I know what kind of a coach uh, Coach Gomez is. I mean, he's obviously been here. They've won a national title. You know, I, I was I was in the position where I was trying to rebuild a program. He's already built a dynasty. Um, after they won the national title, I wanted to play them because I wanted to know what it was like to play the best. And in my opinion, they're one of the best, um, excuse me, in the nation. And so um, just for the opportunity to, to play them again on this stage, uh, you know, like Haley said and everyone said, I think both teams have utmost respect for each other. But, you know, they're the top of the line in in – I, I knew that they would. I knew personally that they would give Jury uh, a battle, and I knew that they would have a game plan. And he has quality players that I knew would step up. So I knew it wouldn't be a walkthrough for Jury for sure. Uh, you said yesterday that you had told her earlier this season, I think before you guys even played, that you thought that this was a team that could win a national title. When, when did that conversation happen? I guess what about this team made you think that that was possible? Yeah, I mean, we've seen them over the last few years, and, you know, these obviously players grow and get better. Uh, you know, as ours have from freshman, sophomore, junior year, you just see a development in them. Uh, and their team, like early in the year, you know, I would not have projected our team at that point to be where we are now. We weren't at a level yet to play the way we're playing lately. But, you know, they have. They've been that way all year. Just their length, their their uh, versatility, you know, their discipline. Uh, they just do what they do really, really well. It's not like they have to do 30 different things on offense. They just can play together. You know, there's a cohesiveness with them. And, uh, you know, she's just done great building a system there that has flourished. So I, I just, I mean, I remember telling her that. And, and I even sent them a note after we played them to their players saying, you guys have a chance to be special. And uh, so it's been neat to see. And now it's like, well, bro, now we got to play. <laughs> so I hope they're not too special. <laughs> For the two of you that have won a national championship before, um, what's it like? What's that feeling like? And, and what do you remember about winning? such talented players and kind of having to sit back a little and watch them do it and I think Olivia and I are just so grateful like for the opportunity that we get to do it ourselves and um, kind of take the leadership role and actually kind of uh, have a bigger part in this year so we're really excited. Yeah same for me I mean we didn't really play <laughs> our freshman year but those girls were awesome and definitely uh, players to look up to and I think over the years, Bobby and I have just kind of wanted to make that for ourselves and for our, the people that follow us now. And being in a leadership role now is um, truly a blessing and truly a blessing to be here again. But it's exciting. I mean, heck, two teams out of 300-something are here. So that's really, really cool and special. Uh, question for the coaches. Uh, what's the biggest difference in your mind from – game in December to now on both sides? You know, obviously, you know, like Coach Gomez kind of mentioned that, you know, we hope to not be playing our very best basketball in December. You want to start playing that, you know, as you're going into March. And I think both teams are kind of settled in and, and developed, um, are playing at a higher level. But I just think that they're a little bit more settled in the simple fact that they have a better understanding of who – who is on their team and who can do what and what we expect from each of our players. Yeah, that's a good answer. Just the, the roles are defined pretty clearly as the year gets deeper. And we're not in Weatherford, Oklahoma, so that's a good thing. <laughs> we're not going to get to eat at Luigi's, the Italian <laughs> food place there, which we love. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, again, you know, it's, it's the same players, but they're more mature, they're more seasoned. You know, I sort of expect probably another one of those knockdown, drag out games that'll come down to a few plays, a few breaks here or there. 
Same-ish question to uh, Haley and uh, Hayden. What do you imagine it would be like to win a national championship, and uh, how does that sit in your mind for 48 hours while you have to wait from getting there to actually being able to play in it? Um, I just know going into college, like I remember I was in the meeting with Coach Music and Coach Anderson, and my dad actually asked the question. He said, what do you need to win a national championship here at Swasu? And when he asked the question, like, yeah, everyone thinks about it, but to actually be here and playing for it is a whole other thing. And it's just like, it's an honor, honestly, to be able to be here. It's it's not easy. And like I remember my dad and my mom always saying, it takes a lot of skill, but a little bit of luck to be here. And while we've got that luck, we just need the skill to finish, but we are happy to be here. So. Yeah, you know, um, getting recruited out of high school, that was my main thing, was I wanted to win a national championship. I wanted to be a contender. And last year we came up short, and so this year, this is our year. I mean, it's our senior year. And so, you know, Coach Music said that this was a special group and that, you know, we needed to produce. And to be able to, you know, play for national championship, that's what we have to do. And I'm just, you know, even so grateful to even be in this position. And, um, you know, I'm playing against a very well-coached team, very great team against Lubbock Christian. So I'm just, we're just very blessed right now. Two questions. First, for Kelsey, uh, your pre-conference schedule is pretty much in South Central Region teams. Uh, the distance between Weatherford and Lubbock is about four hours for those in the room that, that don't know. So this is a this could easily be a regional final. Uh, you're just in a conference that, that's in a different region. But that said, what do you think the biggest differences are between teams in your region and the teams that are in that South Central Region? I don't know that there's such a big difference. I think that those are two of the toughest regions, in my opinion. Um, I think Lubbock Christian had to play extremely tough talent to get here, and you know we had to play three extremely tough MIAA teams um, to get to the, just to make it to the Elite Eight. So I definitely think that those regional games um, in the region tournament help prepare us for the Elite Eight. Three sets of sisters. You're two of the sets of sisters that have, will be playing your final game with your with your younger sisters. Uh, Bobby, I thought it was pretty awesome. And, you know, usually you don't see this, but with the neutral side, kind of smaller crowd, you can hear more of the communication down the floor. But the game against North Georgia, you were battling down low, and your sister was up at the point. She's trying to get the ball into you. And do you remember what she told you? She said, keep working, keep working, keep working. I thought, that's a sister to sister communication that you, you never see and stuff. And, and I thought it was real awesome to see. But have you all had the talks with your sister to say, hey, let's do this, it's our last game? Or has that just been a, a topic that you have avoided because of the emotions? Um, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm already like emotional about it. Like they said yesterday, like, oh, we have one more for me. The fact that we have 41 hits, like, to play with our sisters, um, it's just to play with our teammates, it's crazy. Um, I played with Maddie for a really long time, so, so. <laughs> and people ask me all the time, like, oh, like, who's the better sister, like, who's, like, who carries the team, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, honestly, like, I'm never going to say one bad thing about Maddie. I'm never going to, like, to take credit because she does so much and I'm so proud of her and I don't know it's it's crazy but I mean Coach Gomez gave us an opportunity and get to play with our sisters in the first place so not many people even have it so I'm just super thankful for the three years that I've gotten with her here and just how much we got to experience together so uh, same for me absolutely I just every second spent with Juliana is a blessing, and um, to end your senior season in the very last possible game with your baby sister, uh, they're just <laughs> nothing compares to it. And uh, you were talking about talking to them before the game, whatever. I mean, that's just kind of implied, like our our hearts for each other and our wills to win and desires to play and be the best we can be has always been there. I mean, unsaid, but. We fire each other up before games, and Bobby and Maddie do too, and we just know we're there for each other. And 
a lot of things go unsaid, but they're felt, if that makes sense. Yeah, we definitely don't bring it up because we don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get sad or emotional, so we just, we know what's happening, we know what the situation is, and we just make the most. Yeah. Olivia and Bobby, I coach said that at that point in the season he didn't really think, like, think you guys were there yet. Um, but is, at what point did you guys feel that this was possible? Uh, what was our last last game? Um, I think over Christmas break we kind of made a, a turn for the better. We were just not playing to our potential. And <clears throat> we had some just it, the, the mental toughness just wasn't fully there yet but you know like like the coach from Swasu said um, you just you don't want to be at your peak in December you want to be at your prime time now and I think that that is happening for us and I think over Christmas break coach kind of <laughs> toughened us up a little bit and said you know what y'all are going to be great and I know you can be and you're going to turn it around and uh, from then on we just started playing better together and everyone just <laughs> kind of had a little edge about him and just turned the notch a little bit. So. Yeah, definitely, I definitely think it was Christmas break. Um, we just had some team stuff happen and uh, and our team as one decided to make the most out of it and make it the best situation that we possibly could. And I think that that grew us so much and uh, we just became so much more mentally tough and more together as a team, and I really think that was uh, a turning point for us. So. Coaches, how about the dynamic for preparing for your first game of this tournament against a team you're not super familiar with, then a 24-hour turnaround against another team you're not familiar with, but now you have a day and a half to prepare for a team you're very familiar with. Uh, Coach Gomez, I'll start with you. The dynamic of preparing uh, your team for this game tomorrow night. Yeah. It's never easy to prepare for great teams with great players because you know if a team can only do one thing, you know it's not that difficult. And even if it's a short turnaround, if if you know exactly what they're wanting to do, you know you can prepare quickly. But for a team that has versatile, multiple skilled players and, and multiple threats, uh, you know never get you could have a week or two weeks and it doesn't necessarily make it easier because uh, teams that in the moment have players that can make plays that are off the script. You know, I mean, that's that's what's hard to to ever know what's going to happen. You just have to have kids that are, you know, emotionally, mentally quick and nimble enough to adjust, and then not and not go into a an emotional fog for three possessions. And, you know, and just handle it. So we just got to learn to handle whatever comes tomorrow night, and knowing they're going to make some good plays, and hopefully we'll make some good plays, and and just stay steady. And so, uh, you know, again, the familiarity is as I said, it's helpful in a way. At the same time, is it you don't want to think they're going to be the exact same they've always been. You know, we have to be ready for, for anything. I mean, I agree with that 100%. Um, you know, I don't know that it's any easier. Um, it's We do play them, um, you know, for, for the last few years we play them once a year, but it's not like playing some team in your conference that you play two, three, four times. Um, and at this point, they're a totally different team than, than who we played in December, in my opinion. And he's right, when they, they have, they can go into their bench, but they have just such quality players who can do multiple things. Um, that makes it that makes it hard to prepare for to a certain extent. Any further questions? Okay, a reminder: uh, both teams will practice today. If uh, anybody has any uh, media requests, you can go through the sports information departments of both teams. 7 p.m. Eastern tip tomorrow night: Division Two National Championship game. Uh, coaches and ladies, congratulations on getting here. We can't wait to see the game tomorrow night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.